All right, guys, back here for another video. So we have a lot to talk about today. Chewy, Ryan Cohen, Roaring Kitty, Tesla, so much stuff. We're gonna get right into it. But for those of you that remember, this is where the YouTube channel started. So Mondays used to be my worst performing trading days ever. And I came on YouTube to start to make these Monday recap videos so I could help keep myself accountable and improve my trading. Now, Mondays are my most profitable days. And I kind of wanna go back to the roots of the channel, go back to what kind of got me to where I was in the first place. So I wanna kind of continue to make these walking videos. Also, I'm moving full-time to Miami in about two weeks. So it's gonna be a new scenery. So I wanna enjoy these walking videos while I can in my old place in Jersey. And yeah, let's get into it. So if you missed the news today, uh, Roaring Kitty, AKA Keith Gill, announced a 6% position in Chewy. Now, what does this mean? What's going on with the price action and how can you make money on it? I'm also gonna be talking about some speculative ideas I have on the stock and why the price action is doing what it's doing. So if you guys don't remember, Keith Gill, Roaring Kitty, started posting memes on Twitter about, we didn't know. Everyone assumed that it was GameStop, right? So GameStop ended up nearly quadrupling from $20 to $80. Now, why did this happen? It's because Keith Gill, Roaring Kitty, has such a big following. He has so many people that believe in him and believe in his picks that the stock went crazy. Also, it was unexpected. No one was expecting him to come out of a three-year retirement and start posting again. So my thought process, and I made a lot of money on GameStop and AMC during that run. I think I made like, I don't know, like $150,000 or something like that. Um, but why is this significant in terms of Chewy? Now, when news came out this morning, that he announced a 6% stake in the company, I was like, oh my God, this is extremely bullish. This is great. Stock's probably gonna go to 100, right? So I was up early pre-market. The news came out around like 6.15, 6 a.m. And around 6.20 is when I saw it and I just bought the stock. My thought process was if I buy it at 34, worst case scenario, it'll go to 30. And maybe best case scenario, it'll go to 45 or 50. And why? It's because my thought process was everyone that missed the boat on GameStop, everyone that missed the first initial move on it is now going to go in heavy long on this Chewy and end up sending it back up. Why? Because they believe in Keith Gill, Roaring Kitty. So this morning, Chewy was up about 30%. It went from about $27 to about $35 a share. And if you're watching this video right now, you see that the stock is now down 5% on the day at $26. So I ended up losing money on Chewy today. And I think a lot of people are confused about what happened and why it didn't go up. So I wanna talk about some ideas I have and I kinda of wanna hear your thoughts on it. So number one is if you also notice, GameStop is down today. And you may be thinking, why is GameStop down today? Well, if he announced a 6% position in Chewy, that's about a 200 million to $250 million position. Now, where did he get that money? He said that he's not working with anyone else. He said that it's all his money. So my thought process is, let me actually wait for this motorcycle behind me to leave, but one second. My thought process is that he probably sold his GameStop position to buy Chewy. Now you may think in your head, oh, that can't be. There's no way he would sell GameStop. He believes in GameStop, this and that. But where else is he gonna get 200 million from, guys? So that's why GameStop is down today. Now let's talk about what my speculation is and why Chewy is also down. So a couple things here. The significance of him buying Chewy is important because the same CEO of GameStop, Ryan Cohen, is the creator of Chewy. So it seems like to me that Keith Gill, Warren Kitty, is trying to send a subliminal message to Ryan Cohen. Like, yo, I'm watching you. I believe in you and I wanna buy into your companies, right? But what ended up happening is, if you guys remember, when he put his money into GameStop, Ryan Cohen did a $3 billion offering on GameStop that ruined the momentum. So it seems like to me that although Roaring Kitty likes Ryan Cohen, Ryan Cohen may not like Roaring Kitty. So there's speculation that maybe Ryan Cohen is doing a similar type of offering for Chewy that he was doing for GameStop. And anyone that's kind of an insider knows what the hell is going on. 
and they're front running the stock, right, to the downside. That's idea number one. Idea number two is if you miss the news, Roaring Kitty is being sued for securities fraud. Now, I personally don't agree with that. I don't think he did anything near what securities fraud is, but people may be assuming that because he's being sued for securities fraud for GameStop, that he might also be sued for securities fraud of Chewy, which would then mean that he would have to sell his position, which would create a lot of supply onto the stock, which would cause the price to go down. That's speculation number two. Speculation number three is that if you guys remember last week, he posted a meme of a dog. So maybe people knew ahead of time that Chewy was gonna be his pick last week, that they got in the stock early, and now they're selling it to people like me that didn't realize that that was what was going on, right? So there's a lot of speculation. Currently, the stock is down about 5%. And my thought process was, because GameStop went so aggressively up the way that it did, that his next pick, no matter what his next pick was, it could have been uh, BlackBerry for all I care. I thought that his next pick, no matter what, was gonna go straight up because everyone that missed GameStop would have FOMO and would buy it. I was very wrong <laughs> and I lost. I'm probably the only person on social media that lost on Chewy today, go figure. But what do you guys think is going on, right? What do you guys think is going on? If he announced, and there's also speculation that the filing was fake. You know, I don't know if the filing was fake. If it is, someone's gonna be in a lot of freaking trouble. But those are the three speculations is number one, the filing is fake. Number two, he's accused of securities fraud. And number three, Ryan Cohen is gonna probably drop another big offering on the stock and take advantage of Roaring Kitty. So what do you guys think is the reason why the stock is going down today, right? That's number one. Number two is I wanna talk about Tesla. So if you guys are watching this today, Tesla's up 5% today, around $210, $211. And a lot of people are wondering what's going on. So if you guys might watch my video from about, I think it was about two weeks ago, I mentioned that the Tesla shareholder vote is coming up, and this is very, very important for Elon Musk and Tesla. Now, just as a very quick recap, Elon Musk made a deal with the investors 10 years ago that if he was able to 10x the company's market uh, value, 10x, if he took the company from you know, $50, million, $50 uh, billion dollars to $500 billion, that he would get certain options to get shares of the company. And those options would be worth about $56 billion. Long story short, he did it. And he was supposed to be rewarded his options until a judge in Delaware said, nope, this is too much money. You're not gonna get it. And the reality is that Elon didn't make this idea himself. He asked the shareholders and the board of directors and overwhelmingly 73% of them voted yes. So he now did a revote, and pretty much he was asking investors to re-ratify his pay package. Why is this important, right? This happened a few weeks ago. Why was this important? It's because Elon said that if he doesn't get his pay package, that means he's gonna have a lower percentage in Tesla. And if he has a lower percentage in Tesla, he's not gonna be as motivated to grow the company. And that spooked investors like crazy. Stock went down nearly 50% this year because of that. Now, I mentioned in the video that two things would happen. Either A, the compensation would be approved and the stock would skyrocket, or B, the compensation would not be approved and the stock would crater and it'd be over for that company in the short term, right? What ended up happening is overwhelmingly, people voted in favor of Elon Musk getting his pay package stock ripped up to 190 and then it kind of came back down to around you know 180 170 started consolidating for a little bit and now it's starting to break out again now if you guys also know tomorrow at 9 a.m there's tesla delivery numbers what are tesla delivery numbers and why is it so important every quarter tesla posts the amount of cars that they delivered and most of the time it moves the stock up or down five to ten percent so as you guys know, Tesla's been very, very weak this year. A lot of people have been betting against it. Why? It's been pretty much the only stock in the market that's been down this year. So there's a lot of negative sentiment around the stock. But if you guys see for the past, I don't know, week, the personality has changed on the stock. 
There are three moving averages that are very, very important for large cap stocks. I learned this from Dan Shapiro. Shout out Dan Shapiro. The 20 day moving average, the 50 day moving average, and the 200 day moving average. Whenever stocks are above their 200 day moving average, it is the most possible bullish signal of a stock that there is in the large cap world. Tesla has been under its 200 day moving average for nearly a year now, right? So the long story short is if stocks are above their 200 day moving average, you wanna buy dips. If stocks are under their 200 day moving average, you wanna short pops. So my thought process is now, someone must have the Tesla delivery numbers early. It's coming out tomorrow. Maybe someone knows that's gonna be a surprise to the upside. So they're buying up the stock and buying up the stock and buying up the stock. Or it's because now Tesla is finally reclaiming that 200 day moving average. Why is it significant that it's reclaiming that 200 day moving average now? It's because there's money rotation, sector rotation happening. So the strongest stocks in the stock market for the past 18 months have been semiconductors. Nvidia, SMCI, ARM. So for stocks to go higher, they need to come down, consolidate, find a base, and then go higher. When they come down, consolidate, find a base, that money flows into something else. And it often flows into the, stock, the sectors that are lagging the most. So the strongest sector's money goes into the sector that's been lagging the most because that has the most room to the upside. And that's been Tesla. So I think that the money flow from the semiconductors, at least in the short term, is going back into Tesla because it's above its 200 day moving average. There's a forward looking event with the robo taxis. So the thought process is maybe someone knows the delivery numbers ahead of time. The chart is setting up in a bullish pattern over the 200 day moving average. And there's a forward looking event of the Tesla robo taxi. So my thought process is they're probably gonna try to bid the stock up for the next month up until the robo taxi event and then probably turn into a sell the new setup. So if the numbers are good on Tesla's delivery numbers tomorrow, we may see a short term rebound up to 250 and then a sell off into their numbers. I mean, into their delivery, uh, into their um, robo taxi delivery. So that's my thought process around Chewy. That's my thought process around Tesla. Two very, very speculative stocks, very, very speculative companies. Uh, also, guys, I'm going to make it my goal to make at least one of these YouTube videos per week. So if you guys like these videos, please let me know. If you guys have any ideas of the speculation behind Chewy, please put it in the comments down below and I'll review it. And let me know what type of videos you want to see. Do you guys like these walking videos? Do you guys want to see more trade recap videos? Let me know what type of content you want to see from me so that I could go back and make these videos, right? Because I get very motivated when I see you guys watching these videos. I get very motivated when I see you guys putting in the work for these videos. So leave a comment on this video, leave a like on this video. Let me know if what I'm saying is making sense. And please let me know what you guys think is happening with Chewy and what you guys think is happening with Tesla. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks again for watching and please give me some feedback so I can make these videos better for you. Thank you.